There are a lot of reasons to get into tech. Great earning potential, high demand, and that's a field that's always relevant. Technology is not going anywhere. However, you might be worried about how you're going to get in. You might be a recent graduate or somebody who's never worked in tech before. And you might be asking yourself at this stage, is it even possible? Is this a pipe dream? Well, the good news is it absolutely is possible. Here's how. First up, tech certificates. Certs are one of the most straightforward ways to break into the field. They're industry recognized, they range from beginner to expert level, so you can just start where you're at. And they don't only look good on your resume, studying for these certifications actually gives you the fundamental skills that you need for the job. They also give you a feel for the field. So if you're studying cloud computing, but you love the security part more, that's maybe a clue that that's a different avenue that you wanna pursue. Tech is very broad, and there are a lot of areas where you can focus your passions. And unlike degrees, they only take a few weeks to complete. Hands-on projects are a great way to secure a tech job, whether or not you're entry level, switching careers into tech, or you're an established tech professional who's looking to get a promotion. Now, why is that? It shows that you're proactive with your learning, and it shows that you've demonstrated those skills that someone is actually gonna hire you to do. Best of all, you don't need a job in order to start a hands-on project. You can start one right after this video. I would highly recommend it. Whether or not it's programming, cybersecurity, or cloud, some other field, there is a project out there for you. Build something, contribute to an open source project, create some infrastructure if you're into cloud or networking, try to break stuff if you're into cybersecurity. I mean, legally, of course, Try Hack Me is a great place for that. Do the thing that you love and then someone will be willing to pay you to do that. Now you don't always need a certificate to learn something new. In fact, there's a lot of things that certificates don't cover. So self-study is the great way to fill those gaps. In order to figure out what you want to study, check the job description of the ideal role that you're after, note down the skills required, and then just go after them, go learn those skills. And you might be thinking, how do I do that? Well, there's online platforms like Pluralsight, there's video tutorials, and there's, you know, boot camps. There's even tech teaching games like AWS's Cloud Quest that you can use. And if you love learning through reading, there's books and online documentation on the internet. It's all out there. Now, I know the next one is tough, especially if you're an introvert like me, but it's gotta be said, networking matters. Yeah, I know. I hate the saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know, but there is truth to that. People hire who they trust and they trust people that they know and they trust their recommendations on who would be good to hire next. So put your feelers out and start building those connections. Start small, like asking your friends and family if they know of anything. Reach out to professionals in your community or industry. Join small tech meetups or ask around work. Networking can be those tiny one-on-one -on interactions like coffee catch-ups. It doesn't have to be going to an expo. It doesn't have to be going to a tech rave party if there's such a thing. You never know where your next opportunity might come from. Want to level up your career faster? Find a mentor. Every tech professional I know who's ever made it has had somebody guiding them along the way. A mentor can introduce you to people in their network, help you polish your resume, or give you feedback on your projects. And on a really bad day, they can even give you much needed perspective. Don't be shy about asking somebody to mentor you. When I was asked, I was flattered. Reach out to people in your network, LinkedIn, or even bootcamp instructors, and just ask. The worst that somebody can say is no, but chances are they will be happy to help. Now this is a power tip. If you're already working in an organization, one of the easiest ways to get into tech is through internal opportunities. Let your current employer know that you're interested in switching roles and pursuing that career in tech, and they might even help you get there. It is much, much easier to move into a role in tech within an existing company where the people already know you than it is to move from a non-tech role in one company to a tech role in another. Talk to your manager or your tech teams and see if there's a way to transition into those roles where you are. And if you're a student, ask around a university, make sure to check out the degree placement programs. Ah, you thought you'd get through this video without me mentioning AI. Well, you would be wrong. Here is a non-traditional tip for getting a tech role. Use AI tools like ChatGPT to help you learn. You can actually get AI to generate flashcards for practice, create quizzes, or even run mock interviews with you. Now, it is a great way to test your knowledge, especially when you're getting ready for job interviews. Now, tech contract and part-time roles are very common. Not every company can afford full-time staff, but this is a great way to get your foot in the door. Temporary or contract roles give you experience and help you build connections within the company. And if they like your work, they might be willing to offer you a permanent role down the line. And these part-time roles help you have a chance to gain the experience while you're learning or transitioning from another field. 
Lastly, remember that you have relevant experience even if you've never worked in tech before. Yes, you, you on the other side of the camera, you have relevant experience, whether you think you do or not. Now you have transferable skills and transferable skills are things that you picked up from other jobs, whether or not that's customer service, admin, working on a production line, anything. So for example, with admin, if your organizational skills are strong, then you can be a huge asset in project management or cloud operations. Look at job listings and think about how your current skills match up. Chances are you have more experience than you think. From getting a certification to building hands-on projects and even ugh, networking, I know, uh, it's all about taking consistent steps. Technology is filled with endless opportunities and I know you can do this. So start today, start when you finish this video, keep learning and soon enough you will land that awesome new job in tech that you want. I can't wait to see where your career takes you.